Hi, I'm Sirian Zhou. I'm going to talk about MongoDB replication with a pool-based consensus protocol. This paper is based on the work of the entire MongoDB replication team and its alumni. MongoDB is a general purpose document-based distributed database. Here is an example of a JSON-like document, including a sub-document and an array. To provide high availability, MongoDB uses a replication protocol similar to Raft. Each node replicates the operation log called the op log via the consensus protocol. Each replica also maintains a local copy of the database by applying the operations in the same order. When you write to the primary, it will append an entry into its op log. The secondaries replicate asynchronously. Once a majority of the group has replicated the write, it is considered committed. Then the write acknowledges the client. A committed entry is safe through any minority failures providing fault tolerance. The replication in MongoDB has evolved through three protocols. From the very beginning, MongoDB supported a primary backup replication scheme, which requires manual failover if the primary is down. Very early in its development, MongoDB started to support automatic failover. It works in most cases, but it's not proven. It has a strong assumption that if a message isn't delivered in 30 seconds, the remote must have failed. In 2015, we introduced a new replication protocol that is based on Raft with modifications. It provides faster failover and guarantees safety in an asynchronous network. Beyond testing, we model checked its protocol using TLA+, which gives us more confidence in the correctness. All of these replication protocols share a common theme. They are all pool-based replication. Pool-based replication means any replica called syncing server can pull the op log entries from any other replica called sync source, as long as the sync source has more up-to-date data. The sync source doesn't have to be the primary. The pool-based model has some advantages over the push-based one. First, it is valued by users because the flexible data transmission can utilize network more efficiently. For instance, users may want to minimize data transfer across different data centers. Second, it allows us to reuse existing mechanisms. As an example, the op log is stored in the database collection. Pulling the data is implemented by using queries and cursors with some optimizations. Last, MongoDB supports up to 50 replicas for local reads. By offloading op log reads from the primary, a pool-based model fits naturally into this use case. We started to develop a new protocol by adopting Raft selection rules while reusing the pool-based data replication. However, we realized that we broke a critical rule that would affect safety. To understand why, let's dive deeper into the protocol. Append entries in Raft is replaced with pool entries and update positions in MongoDB. After pulling and appending new data to the op log, the syncing server reports its last entry's position via update position, which will be forwarded upstream to the primary. The problem happens here. In Raft, the leader's term is checked by the follower, but there's no equivalent in pool entries because the sync source could be a secondary. Even if its term is up to date, it can still roll back soon. As a result, MongoDB allows replicating from any replica regardless of server's terms, but Raft doesn't. This behavioral difference requires a careful revisit of the correctness. 
Let's see an example of the op logs on five nodes. Each box represents an entry with this term. Initially, server E is the latest primary in term three, while server A is the stale primary and doesn't know of term three. In Raft, only server B can replicate the blue entry. In MongoDB, however, servers would take the blue entry even though some of them have voted in term three. Now the blue entry could be considered as committed by server A, but it can be overwritten by the red entry later. Without more changes from Raft, this would violate safety. This new case is unique in MongoDB and would not happen in Raft. It demonstrates that modifying Raft state replication isn't trivial. To prevent this from being a problem, we added a new argument in update position, the term of the syncing server. The sync source will update its term accordingly. In the example, when server A receives update position, it will see term three and step down immediately without committing the blue entry, thus avoiding any safety issues. On top of the basic pool-based consensus protocol, we extended the design to introduce some key features. MongoDB supports reads and writes with weaker consistency. Speculative execution enabled this feature. I'll explain it in contrast to the Raft protocol. Let's say we have a document storing a color. An update comes in to change it to orange. In Raft, only when the write becomes committed can the update be applied and returned to the client. MongoDB, on the other hand, applies the operation to the database when it is appended to the op log. This permits acknowledging writes with weaker consistency levels and reading the latest data before the data is committed. Secondaries also apply speculatively. After the write becomes committed, it acknowledges the clients if strong consistency is requested. Let's imagine a different scenario. If for some reason, the orange update didn't commit successfully. After a failover, a blue update commits. The diverged node needs to truncate the orange update and revert its effect to the database. The Wire Tiger storage engine supports multi-version concurrency control and made this possible. Finally, the node can resume replication. Another extension is to transfer the current database state to a newly added server. Snapshotting is a common approach, but MongoDB supports multiple storage engines and the initial storage engine doesn't support snapshotting. Instead, a newly added server clones the data asynchronously. Let's say we have two documents with X and Y. Both are zero initially and incremented as time goes by. The cloned data may come from different timestamps, so they may be inconsistent. Afterwards, all the op log entries generated during the clone phase will be applied to bring the database to a consistent state. It's possible some of the operations are applied twice, so they need to be idempotent. For instance, incrementing a value will generate an entry to set it to the final value on speculative execution. Besides, we added more extensions to support our features. Uncommitted op log entries are preserved after the failover as much as possible. Non voting members are introduced to support many replicas for local reads. Election handoff saves the election timeout on planned maintenance. Member priority is designed for users who prefer to deploy the primary closer to the application. Last, linearizable reads are supported. All of these features are implemented as extensions 
without touching the core of the replication protocol. So they don't affect the correctness. We performed some experiments that show MongoDB achieved the design goals and can replicate data efficiently. When two secondaries are in a different data center than the primary, one thinking from the other would save a half of the cross data center traffic compared to both thinking from the primary. Well, the performance is the same. Atlas is a hosted database as a service offered by MongoDB. In the data we collected on Atlas, we saw that the system can recover from failures efficiently. We measured the time duration from starting the election to when the new primary is available for local and majority rights. For both planned and unexpected failovers, the new primary starts to commit rights within seconds. In conclusion, MongoDB designed and implemented a pool-based consensus protocol, which is based on Raft, but with non-trivial modifications. The pool-based model is valued by our users and allowed us to evolve the replication protocol smoothly. We also extended the replication protocol to support our rich feature set. With all these efforts, we made replication in MongoDB efficient and reliable. Thank you.